my mums and dads. Um, so for the next little while, while we're on online, there are a couple of things that I'm really hoping that the kids can get for their art projects. I try to keep it as simple as possible. Um, to start off with, they need a pencil and an eraser. Um, they do need a, a pair of scissors um, and then they, they need a, a, a marker pen um, and uh, you can also use a laundry marker if you have this at home. Um, otherwise, you can get them from PNA, CNA, uh, gym nets, wherever. I'll leave um, some addresses and some phone numbers of these places. They are all open now, which is wonderful. Um, they need a set of cokies. Um, they need a sharpener and just one pencil or one paintbrush will be fine. This paintbrush is quite a large paintbrush. Obviously, you can get a variety if you wanted to, but for the kids who, who want to do fine work, you know, it depends on what size paintbrushes they're looking for. But really, you only need one or two. You don't need any more than that. Um, you do need some glue. I would suggest getting both kinds. I know you can get both of these at Pick and Pay, but also PNA, CNA, or gym nets will have these. Um, this is just a ponal glue, and this is just your normal print glue. Then the next thing that's quite important that I'm that I'm using quite a lot of, um, this is just really easy. Instead of having to get tubes of paint, I thought that these cakes um, of watercolors would be easiest. You can get them in a set. You can get them from CNA, Pick and Pay, um, uh, PNA, and Gym Nets. Um, again, I'll leave a little thing for it. But basically, it's just in a in a case, and these are dried paint pieces. You basically take your paintbrush and you wet it, and then you can create your paint. I thought this would be the easiest, clean, hassle-free uh, painting technique that we can do. Um, and then in terms of paper, it really would be wonderful if they could get A3 paper. This is the paper that I use. I get this from Gym Nets. It is um, A3 size and it's 140 GSM. You'll see if you go to Gym Nets that there's a thicker piece. The reason why I use this paper is um, when they're doing watercolors, uh, the paper doesn't wrinkle and look um, shoddy afterwards. Um, there are 20 sheets in here, which should be more than enough, um, you know, each child will probably only do one artwork a week um, if, if I don't split it up. So I think that they'd only need four or five sheets of paper, which means if you have two children, you only need to buy one of these. But it is quite nice to have in your um, stationary pad anyway because the paper is good quality. Um, so I hope that that's helped you. Um, I hope that it's not too much uh, for you to go and get this. Um, at the end of the day, if you don't have these things, then you really don't need to worry. Um, I will make a plan with those boys, um, but perhaps they could just send me a little message and say, look, I can't get them. Um, and, uh, you know, everything that I'm trying to do with school, you can always do um, just normal pencils or crayons. Oh, that's one more thing that you need. You do need some crayons, which I'm hoping everyone kind of has. So just a couple crayons, paper, Sorry, asking a lot, I know. 